stuff cleans it off. It comes off so easy. It's Real like, easy. It's like almost like a dew in the morning, like for your boat. Or exactly. Like that. Yeah. What well, it, it, you know, it like sanitizes it a little bit too. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, from all the other stuff that's been cooked on there. Yeah. That'll all get catch fire down in here, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll, it'll all catch. I'm in that feels good. It does. You got gas at home? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, only fool with charcoal. Yeah, charcoal's the best. Right? For the flavor. Maybe yeah, cooking with wood and stuff too. Like you uh, can add like crazy all stuff. Kind of stuff. Yeah. You're always gonna get better flavor, in my opinion. Now do you charcoal. do you do chicken in the same thing? Charcoal. Chicken, it's everything charcoal when it comes to barbecue. Everything. Yeah, for me. Yeah. I know a lot of people use gas. Gas is cool, it's convenient, it's, it's cool. Convenient. Light the yeah. light the gas and go. But when you when you're trying to get that when you're trying to get this, you gotta go with this. Charcoal. charcoal. Yes, sir. There we go, down the long side. I ain't learned nothing all week. Now I have. <laughs> yeah, hey. I ain't learned nothing I ain't all learned week nothing long. on the pond. But we shouldn't learn any steaks. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. Now. Yes, sir. Did you rinse these steaks off? I have not. Okay, let's do that. Now you put it on both sides, you put it on one side. I like to put it on both sides. Gotta be careful because you can overdo it bad. So I don't, don't want to go crazy with it. I'm just going to. Get it going on there a little bit something. Chef we already right here. Right. Let's go. Chef for NGJ. Whatever you think, bro. I don't care. I'll leave the top. I'll leave it. Hey, bring another chicken. I got this. Alright. My turn. Oven. Broccoli. I got him. Flour. Let me see if I can move this thing around right. There you go. Alright. First things first. Preheat. Oh, our top's got five guys. Good brother, looking good. We, we bringing it along for a couple. Yeah, I figured we just sort of see what was up. And... Hey, man. Hey, I think... All right, so that's what we got, y'all. Broccoli, some cauliflower tots, not potatoes. I'm trying to keep a little healthier. Mark's out there, man, in the chicken. We got some jalapeno poppers. I think he got it all. He did get all these steaks seasoned all pretty and nice. So, me, not the best at uh, a cook. So I got to work on my, my cooking ability, but. We're gonna get there. I can do the microwave, I can do the oven. Eventually, I will get better at that grill. But the flavor that you get, it's so like, uh... Made a couple plates, got the cauliflower tots, got the broccoli, the steak, some chicken, some like chicken jalapeno bacon wrap. Oh, they're so good. And we normally try to eat out every once in a while, but you know, this week, grab a few things, try to sort of cook. Thanks to Mark, I, you know, I, I did the oven, kill the microwave, kill the oven. I think I did a phenomenal job on my tater tot, or my cauliflower tots. It looks pretty good, can't wait to try this thing out. A little steak dinner. Ready to roll. Ooh, about to eat good. Hey, let's get it. What do you think about those tots? Oh, <laughs> put, damn. <laughs> oh man, come on, Ray. Unreal. Good morning. What's up, everybody? Got our day off. Pretty simple. DC's out fishing today. He's Group A. Mark and I are Group B. But with days off, means a little bit of work actually going to another lake to work with uh, Academy on a couple things. soon but something not so exciting happened at the lake we were actually in lake houston driving in camera guys hat flew out 
turning around, drill a stump. So I'll show you guys. Mess up the lower unit, mess up the prop. Everything's all jacked up. It was, it was completely my fault. Very thankful for guys like Barry and Emery to be here, swap out the lower unit. I do have to pay for them. Destroyed that, bent the prop shaft. Um, not a good deal. But, you know, stuff like that happens. You know, I, I've done some crazy things in, in my day running stuff. Today wasn't, you know, wasn't that from that, but you know, it's just part of it. And when you're on the water as much as we are, you're gonna have things happen like that. And that's just part of it. Thankful for those dudes though. One thing that I always do when I get a new rod and reel out, you know, I'm trying to spool a couple rods and put a seven to one on the seven three heavy. Try to grab a pair of pliers and just tighten it all the way down as tight as you can go. Also, I always tighten my my drag as tight as it can go because I thumbbar a lot of my fish, so I don't really like to have, you know, that that drag slip at all. I want to direct connect to those fish. I got to trust my line and trust the way I play those fish. But you might have seen last last week when I set the hook and my reel came off. That was because I didn't take a pair of pliers and tighten that down. That was all it was. Fortunately, you live and you learn, and it didn't cost me much. stuff together man always something but no we, we hooked up some uh quarter pound burgers on the grill courtesy of jay wills and uh it's about it's to go down up, got man. some tater tots in the oven we're gonna do a little mm. all right everybody sitting here ready to get to go to bed got everything rigged up mark you excited dc yep i'm excited Stop. to see what y'all can <laughs> he, he's all depressed i don't know I, hey look dc last time all right, look, he had a tough day. That's part of it. Hey, I got a top 10 last third. <laughs> but no, no, hold, 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 hold up. I'm, I'm, <laughs> hey, he had a tough day, but ultimately, hey, last tournament, he got top 10, and he had a tough day the first day, too. So, I'm never counting my boy DC out. Mark and I fish tomorrow. We got to get some rest. We'll see you guys in the morning. Seven degrees. Just pulled up to the ramp. It's obviously really cold out here right now. In the mid 30s. You know, after practice, had a lot of fish found shallow. Not a lot. A few fish found shallow. And with these cold nights, the one thing about that is it's going to make it to where it's a little bit tougher to get them to bite. I don't know if they're going to bite right off the giddy. I'm going to try to start shallow. But today is a survival day. Eight to ten pounds ish, somewhere in there. And then Friday. <laughs> that worked perfect that worked yes sir thank you man, oh man winter he just don't want to leave me alone this is a uh, stage two bass pro tour we're out here on lake conroe as you can see as i speak right now that ain't never good springtime i think it's 37 degrees this morning you see i'm super bundled up hopefully this doesn't make the bite super super tough but from the looks of yesterday, you know, it didn't appear to be easy, but man, this place has some giant bass in it. So we're gonna stay positive, we're gonna fish hard all day, try to put every one of them we can in the boat, and uh, hopefully we lighten up that score tracker here momentarily. Key today, you think? Man, I, you know, I don't know. Usually in cold front situations like this, these largemouth, they really like to get on hard cover. So on this particular lake, there's tons and tons of docks, dock poles, there's stairs that come down to the water, things like that. I'm thinking that's gonna certainly be a player. Uh, and then also just lay down timber. You know, I, I'm, I'm gonna make a run up the river, get up into some mud, get a little comfortable, pull out the flipping stick and just try to go to work on some lay downs. Um, you know, hopefully those fish are still sitting there, hugged up tight to that wood and I can, I can get them to go on the flipping stick. That's the plan anyways. Success today. Number one, keeping your head in there. Two, keeping an open mind. Three, staying focused to where you make every single bite count. 
Those are the three keys to success. But at the end of the day, these guys are still gonna catch them. This cold night's the biggest thing. If it was a warm night last night, I would say probably the weights would be similar. But with this cold night, I'm gonna say around that 12 pound mark should probably be right around that cut. And then, you know, but Friday, you could throw it all out the window because you got 60 degree night. It's gonna be 80 degrees. It could go absolutely crazy. All right, buddy boy, I gotta shake your hand. I gotta shake your hand, you sorry sucker. Good job, dude. Nice, buddy. There you go. That was a good boy. Good job. You got dialed in the last second, all of a sudden. Yeah. Straight. That's crazy. Isn't that nuts? It's how you finish. That's right. You know, you've been knowing that for a minute now. <laughs> Man, it was good, absolutely. Yeah. It was phenomenal. It was nice to be home for a little bit, just relax and try to make sure we got it all. time to sort of put your trolling around look around if you want to but for me i'm just sort of i haven't spent a lot of time graphing so i just want to graph a little bit trying to sort of get a gauge on you know if there's a lot of fish off the bank too so if you see a little brush pile or a hard spot maybe mark it and come back and go fish it later there's a lot of bait up on top of these places in six seven eight foot water doesn't look that dirty up here right now so the bottle of the wind yesterday didn't look like it hurt it too bad I'm trying to utilize the time that we have to do something I can see them fish being on this little road right here. There's like stumps up here. I might even go down through here. Just put the troll motor in the water. We still got 10 minutes to the troll motor warm up a little bit. On this other hand, grab a couple baits together. Oh, hello. Grab a buzz bait out. I'll tell you what, I'm a little nervous. Might have to put a trailer hook on him today. Man, it's cold, man. I'm gonna slide this sucker on here. So one thing I do is I'll put a bobber stopper over my, normally a smaller one if I can get away with it, but cut half of it probably off. Just put that little piece. Keep them on there. There you go, put the trailer hook on. Ready to go, the sucker bites it. Get in trouble. Okay. Little tip for y'all, we got, we got about a minute left to go. So I put my trolling motor down, water temperature's warm up to 54.4 up on my front unit, but see, I went down here and I changed it to my 3D, which the 3D transducer's all the way in the back. It's been in the water the whole time, so it's not taking a lot of time for it to warm up. So water's actually 56, I guess, 56.2, 56.3. So that's um, that's good to know. I see him still biting a buzzbait this morning. So we're gonna throw a buzzbait a little bit, probably start with a buzzbait, and well, I'll probably throw a spinning bait a little bit first, and then go from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll start with spinning bait. Three, two, one. Let's get this party started. Thirty minutes into the first period, and there's already like twelve people on the score tracker. My little game plan, where I went back and forth on the same little deal, didn't work. Didn't get a bite. I'm gonna go to some docks. Just 
Maybe you cast a chatterbait or a spinnerbait around them for a little bit. Fish some new water. I don't really want to go to the stuff that I feel like I get bit on until later on this afternoon. Let it sort of warm up a little bit. You gotta get bit somewhere though. Right here. Somebody done lost their name DT6. Give it to you. There we go. Got me a DT6. <laughs> Can't say I ain't caught nothing this morning. Got me a thing. Free crankbait. Four track rep bait, Jordan Lee's number one, 11 pounds, two ounces. The sun's out. The sun's shining. It's starting to heat up a little bit. I feel like springs in the air. You see all these trees? They blow. Look, bald eagles are flying, baby. Look at here. Birds chirping. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Come on, let's go. I'm about to go eat me some breakfast. No, uh, I don't. I don't know. I, I, I didn't wake up that early. No. What's that? What's that score track looking like? Dang, JoJo. Two is Mark Davis at seven pounds, two ounces. And one is Jordan Lee at 11 pounds, two ounces. And he's got four fish. Oh. Yes. Ah. Always a couple bass running around. You're fine. One pound. Perfect. Whew. Yeah, we'll fish all these boat docks. Forget that. Was there used to be hydrilla in here and they said nope we don't want that they got them grass carp jacking around with it and then they're all jacked up i don't know why are they so muddy all right i'm sitting here waiting to go again one quick tip that i always do is i have a memory box full of accent rubber specials a lot of them don't have skirts on them so i'll grab one out here's just a regular frame I get in my skirt box i always bring a skirt box doesn't weigh a whole lot grab them out of there i like white down White down, chartreuse up. Take a couple of them. Then take a little Storm Coastal 360 little swim bait. And one thing a buddy of mine, Whitney, showed me is cut in the belly out of that swim bait. It makes it more streamlined. So there's not as much plastic that they have to put in their mouth to get that bait. Get your spinner bait ready to roll. Hopefully you catch one. Alright, yo, we gotta get this show on the road. So right now I'm trying to sort of determine if I can get one to bite that buzz bait at all. I might throw it for about an hour. 10.30 to 11.30 and then I'll switch it up and probably flip. I mean, I'll flip a little bit too, but the plan is to throw it for a little while. Yeah, it might be a little bit more, needs to be a little bit warmer. I'm just like, one bite, one gosh darn bite all day. Unfreaking believable. Woo. Man. That was a brutal round, huh? Gosh, I'm gonna sit down for a second. Oh, oh my God. Unbelievable. Unreal. Yeah, you figure something would at least bump it. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> Mark and Jacob are fishing on the lake right now. Today's my off day. Well, they just got done with their second period. This is their last period. <laughs> I plugged my phone in and I got a text from Mark. He was during his break. <laughs> hey, pack my sh I can hear him saying that right now. He's got one for one pack. <laughs> oh, God, that's hilarious. <laughs> They suck right now, man. All you can say, I'm, on, I'm about to go rig rods for two hours. Hope to God I get two bites. <laughs> Maybe if I rig for 10 hours, I'll get 10 bites. Mm. Unreal. What? Three, two, one, lines in. Oh, no. Gosh. I freaking had him. 
Dang, nabby. Oh, man. Shouldn't have been throwing mono. Light. I want a big one, but it's probably two and a half pounder. Hmm. Huh. straight braid. Direct connect. If we can get like and get two bites. I mean, two, two and a half, three pound bites just to get us a little momentum. I don't need much. I'll catch. I'll catch. A, I'll catch them good the, the second day. Real. I feel like. Anyway, I don't. I don't know for a fad, but just need a little bit of momentum. Big. No. Right now, they're just basically coming up and nipping it, barely getting the back of it. And the problem is, when I had a trailer hook on this morning, I couldn't get through that thick stuff. They're really close to those thicker little places. You get too close to that thick stuff with a trailer hook, you're going to get hung up every time, even where those fish are really biting it at. Taking me off right now because some suckers are right there. Just the problem is, it's too thick of stuff to catch them on a trailer hook. Definitely a struggle. We just got to get one bite, one more bite, you know. Three bites in this last little bit, you know, and that fish is, I mean, like a three, probably three and a half pounder, I'd say. Which, just so you know, Jake, 30 minutes in this round. Perfect, thank you. That one choked it. Yeah, that one choked it. Thank you. That's all I'm saying, like, just get it like that, y'all. Why don't you just be doing that? One pound, 15 ounces. Here he Ooh. Got this one anyway. Gosh, mighty. Talk about it, dang. Absolute crap shoot. We're going to roll after this. We might get like five casts, but... There's one little plot. We're going to roll after this little corner right here. One minute, Jake. Two minute right. Four. Three, two, one, lined out, or lined in, end around. Hey, good job, man. Oh, man. That was a grind, though, wasn't it? Four. We'll go from that. There you go. All right. That's what's up. Had uh, five bites, stuck to my game plan, threw buzz bait, and had one bite on chatter bait, had four more bites, had two four pounders to get off. Well, one four pounder to get off. One probably two and a half, and then another one just flew it out of the water, it's probably a five pounder. We're gonna catch them, we can catch them Friday. I ain't tripping. Today was a horrible day. and should have had like, mm, probably like at least 11, 11 pounds, 11, 12 pounds. You know, been right there at the top 20 cut. Friday, I work coming from. We're coming for him. We're coming for him. Don't worry. So bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to go laugh. I want to go laugh, and I'm gonna go and tell you. This something gonna suck. Hey, man, Colton, right? Yes, sir. Colton. Family made some ribs for us. Legit. Unbelievable. Scale one to ten, a twelve. Hey, them ribs, man. Pretty good. Your grandmother made them? Yes, sir. Man, Shh. tell grandma she's the absolute truth, bro. Out <laughs> off the hook. Oh yeah. my goodness. That was unbelievable. Phenomenal. She said she's gonna bring y'all some cake a little later. Oh uh, god. <laughs> yeah. Take care of no, us. Oh, it will not go to waste. Yeah. No That's problem. awesome, man. Right on, man. Sure, sure. Oh, to the left is about five more. Yeah, what? Get that grill high. Ducks. I've been looking at them all week. Fish ain't biting. Yeah, I told him to get that grill. Might as, well, might as well blast me a few green hits. What'd you say? You told him to get that grill hot. Yeah. Be on it too. Man, listen. Them duck poppers. Oh. Jalapeno, green cheese, and bacon. Mm -hmm. They don't get no better. All right. Present in the mail. Let's see what's up in here. Let's see what we got. You ready? Are you ready? The panels for the year. Ooh. 
Yeah. My. Then that you're sick. <laughs> no. Hey, then you're sick. <laughs> oh. Yeah, mother. Alright, we're done. That's dumb clean, bro. But is it gonna match? It's clean either way, though. Yeah. Hella clean. That looks good. Pretty solid, huh? Legit. He's sleeping. So, what am I gonna do? Get some good rest and not catch nothing? <laughs> hey, look, he's down there catching all y'all's bass. Hey, my man, you're straight up wrecking on him. Hey, he's gonna call it more than us. Bro. Yeah. Same with my girls or whatever. It's gonna be awesome, baby. Okay, so Valentine's Day is tomorrow. I got my girls at home, little little girl, Olivia, my wife, Alicia, and you want to do something special for them. So, ordered some flowers, got them sent, but I told the people to put them on the back door. So this is the key. So I'm dropping them off the back door because I have a ring system on the front, which will have a ring system set up. By the time this video airs, I'll have a ring system in the back. And anyway, long story short, so don't be stealing my stuff, just, just, just first off. Then I want to be able to drop it off in the back door, then I call my wife, let her go back in the back, call her up, say, hey, open the back door up, there's some flowers, go and mow, so I have to go out on this day. There we go. Ding. Dang. Is that, is that cooked? Perfect. Yeah, whatever you want to do. If you don't want to eat it, I am. I'm <laughs> Trust me, it's all cooked good. Ready to go. Yeah. What we got up here? Rice? Or whiskey. Whiskey? <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, you gotta fish tomorrow. Alright guys, we are here getting ready to shoot with Toyota. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Photo shoot this morning. Didn't get to sleep in, but hey, that's part of it. Gonna take that big bad truck back there. And this guy right here, I'm gonna make it look pretty. Looking right here. A lot of times I don't shoot up from there. That looks cool. That looks good. Let me make a change. Okay, so just got done with the truck shoot. Now, gotta do a couple more things. These guys are good, real good. You can have a lot of fun with this, can't you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at Guck. He's, what the heck? $11 of goodness. <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you liked me that much. Look, Valentine's yeah. Day, he's got yeah. me all set up. Look at this, this sucker's got the heart and the balloons. Oh Happy God. Valentine. Thank you, buddy. Duck's pretty awesome. He's been been doing this for a minute. He's a pretty good dude. Ow. I'll tell you when I'm serious here. I'm trying to think of how like you know, fishing, yeah. <laughs> Eating a little breakfast. My mama always told me not to talk with my mouth full. Get some almonds, pecans, pistachios for breakfast. On this little leg, straight mud. Bomb. Like it's muddy, muddy. I don't know how that one's gonna work out. You guys want me to catch a bass? Hey, I have a hard time catching one a car drill, let alone. So far, it's been really good. Had a really good day shooting with these guys. We're gonna be out here on the water shooting some more stuff. Make things difficult for tomorrow, trust me. South wind, if you don't have a protected area, it's probably not gonna be that too 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 great. Done. Here, I'll sleep here. Just got done at the Toyota photo shoot. Had a lot of fun with those guys, Guck and and all the guys were phenomenal. DC's probably spearing six foot waves right now on Lake Conroe. Matt is a little punk. <laughs> I guarantee. <laughs> Seven pounds, 10 ounces a day. He's in 29th place. 
seven pounds back. So they're biting a little bit. I don't know, DC. I don't know. We gotta go back, get some stuff done, prep, get a couple of rods, re-rig, and just prepare for tomorrow. I, I just don't know what this wind's gonna do to the lake. I have no idea. Give y'all a little bit of midday update. Oh, we right here. Buffalo Wild Wings got the rods rigged. DJ, you got your rods rigged? Ready to go. Got all the triggers tied on. Hey, we got hey, hey now. Mark said, keep you messing with that what, bro? Mango habanero and mango habanero. It's a little hot, so before you try it, just make sure you're ready to get some heat. So, anyway, we're gonna go grab some, grab a quick bite, and uh, get on a fat bag tomorrow. Grabbing a quick bite to eat. Got the rods rigged up. Knocked out the Toyota shoot. Gotta catch some bass tomorrow somehow, some way. The wind is howling. We're right here actually by the highway, so I apologize if it's super loud, super crazy, but ultimately I'm just trying to figure out how in the world I'm gonna catch some bass tomorrow and what we're gonna do. But first gotta rig some stuff up. Got a couple more rods rigged. Too. All right, so we just stopped here at uh, was it Bernie's? Yeah, we stopped Thanks at Jay Wills. Jay Wills was like, Let's come into Bernie's. Let's check I'm it out. I'm always looking for old bait. So, look, filming around, looking at some clearance stuff. Look what I just found a OG Mountain. wiggle. OG look, look at the price tag wiggle. though $5.99. <laughs> Ding, <laughs> bruh. Hey, what about these Bagley's doing and these bombers, bro? You see, you say Wheeler's Hammer Crow. Look at his name, Jacob Wheeler. That's his lure. Is he married out here selling your shirt? Huh? You sure? You well, it out today. Jay Will's buying all his own inventory. <laughs> <laughs> For eight nine eight ninety nine. Is that what they were? It's $7.99. We too, look, you can probably walk from here and be fishing right now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's the convenience fee, baby. <laughs> it is. It's still fly, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's close, close, right? Hey, you wanna you wanna catch fish this close to the taco shop? You gotta pay for it, baby. <laughs> that's you the pay play. I'm gonna buy some bang, okay? This is old school. I grew up using this. I trust and believe in this right here, Bang. Let me tell you something. But this particular can of Bang is $13.99. I definitely just came up. Check this out. This is an old school wiggle work. I already yeah, talked yeah. to y'all about it. $5.99. And whose idea was it to stop at this thing yeah, yeah, shop? <laughs> Some false advertising by a receipt. Ain't got no ink spook. Ain't got no Bagley B2s. Ain't got, ain't got it. False advertising. His mom, his family, been looking out for us this week. They got the ribs. Now we got a pina colada cake that we got to critique. So we have to eat it. Pull it out. That's like it right there. It looks pretty dang tasty. Come back. I think I'm ready for a comeback. Uh, are you guys ready for a comeback? I don't. <laughs> That's the good thing about being close to rock bottom. Only way is up. You go, you go hard. You're only gonna drop three places. So, hey, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not tripping out this morning. Whew. Drop the boat in the water. Water's 62.6 degrees. Trust me, it is about to go down. Like, I'm dude, so excited. I'm gonna say, if I catch 24, I'll make it. I think 24, I'll have a really good shot. I think they're really gonna catch them. The weather's, I mean, foggy, but trust me, they're gonna catch some ass. 
All right, Marky Mark. Right, we got, we got to come come back on them. Hey, hey. Day is a day. Redemption, baby. All right. Here, here we go. Let's ride. It's not how you start. This is a tight finish. And got an opportunity to make up some ground. I do it big, though. We're going to have to catch a big one. All right. Ready to roll. Are you? guys start out with the buzz bait this morning that'll be all right i put braid on this thing the thing is i'm about to make sure i don't hook too hard because you don't want to pull it out of their mouth you want them suckers when they grab it just get it good and hopefully get them in the boat that's that i got the top water rigged up so we're at about seven minutes before we start the beaver dam right here in the middle of all these sticks it's always a big bass they seem to live in those beaver dams so might as well stop and start on him. I think that might not be a bad idea. The little little stained up, a little more stained up up here right now. I think top water will definitely play, but gonna just sort of have to see. Let these cameras off a little bit. Two minutes. Two minutes. Uh, let's go. Stretch. How's there not one on that stuff, man? Cool. Man, I'm telling you, they're going to bite somewhere in here. Frogfish, baby, yes. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Two pound, 14 ounce. Yes, that was that fish, I bet. Heck yeah. That's awesome. We ain't playing with them. We ain't playing, I told y'all. I knew he was over there somewhere. I came right over here just for that one bass. He bit my buzz bait in practice. Blew up on it. Toosh. That time he did not miss it. <laughs> I was, I'm gonna have a frog in there. Uh, yeah. Let's roll. We're just gonna idle. I don't get how they're not biting that thing though. So I switched to a white swim jig to. I've been seeing this fish blow up on shad and I haven't got a bite on my buzz bait, got a bite on a frog. I figured maybe a little subsurface action might be better, even though it's a little quick. Spinnerbait just doesn't go through all that thicker stuff. Caught that one on that spinnerbait that blew up on those shad. And then now I'm just sort of swimming him around a little bit. So back to a little area we started in. And what I'm trying to do now is bring that spinnerbait down through some of this stuff because that one thing that I've noticed is some of these fish are on the outside of this stuff a little bit. I have not got a bite on a buzz bait. I have got a bite on a frog, but that fish I actually shook off in practice. So uh, I'm sort of trying to, to get those fresh ones that are coming in. They're up in there. No way. All right. I feel like we sort of got us on something. Maybe. I knew there was some bass back up in here, that's for sure. I mean, we found the bass right now. These guys are getting a bite now, some way. There we go. 
Here we go. <laughs> One pound, ten ounces. Agreed. Man, they, I can't get them to bite it if I just pitching around. That's crazy. Got to be right there around where they're blowing up. I'm not complaining, but I just got to wait for them suckers to blow up on some shad. And it's like schooling fish in the, in the dang brush. It's crazy. Like you normally would just swim your stuff through there and get a bite. Found us a little something out there here, y'all. Whew, so hard to find a place where you can get multiple bites. It seems like there's multiple fish for sure. Oh yeah, come on buddy. Oof. Came out of the water and got that second. Oh my gosh. Talk about a dang bite. Yeah. One pound, 13 inches. Agreed. Whoo. We're coming for him, baby. We're coming for him. That fish literally, no joke. I seen that one blow up. Threw in there and I was like, man, I made a bad cast and got over a limb. Oh, whoosh. Like it's literally like a foot out of the water and he comes up and gets it. That's crazy. We're back. We're back. <laughs> Holy crap, that's crazy. This ain't gonna last too long, but we got back to zero anyway. Whew. It's a big ordeal. Whew, that's a big deal. Seems like when they blow up, they show themselves. They're pretty easy to catch. Gosh, tied for 20th right now. Oh my goodness. That's nuts. That is absolutely nutty. Power pulled down. Let's sit here a second. Yeah, we made that come back. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, we're coming back, baby. We coming back. Changing up some wine a little bit. I'm gonna get my stuff right. The weather, the fish might start getting up on top of some of these places a little bit. We got Gary over here. He said he watches the dang channel. Come on, my man, just sitting, sitting here watching us go to work. How old's your dog? Man, that's how old mine is. He's, I love him so, that sucker is like my best friend. All right, start of the dang second period. We're tied for 20th, got a lot of work to do. So the problem is I know I can't make it all, make the cut off that one little stretch. I just know I can't. Right now we're in 25th, we're falling back. I've had one bite on a frog the whole period, you know, trying to figure out a little bit of something new trying to understand exactly what's going down flipping a little bit frogging a little bit buzzing a little bit give you a little chop on the little stretch perfect for big and to go up there and get it rather go down swinging than i'm sitting there messing around necessarily and i thought maybe if i could figure a little something out i could go back to you know catch a couple and then go back to that little stretch maybe catch one or two somehow some way be able to you know, hodgepodge once I figured that out after that and make the cut. All right, just got done with the second period. Shit, so look at the score tracker. We're seven pounds up and out. It's tough because, you know, I got so much confidence in top water. I hadn't got a bite in that second period, but it was very similar to that on day, on day number one. I'm probably gonna go run a lot of new water. And I think that's probably gonna be the biggest thing um, going forward, just probably making running into a little pocket, fishing it and running out and just fishing high percentage stuff. If I don't get bit on top water pretty soon, I might start flipping real high percentage lay downs or something in small pockets. Cause it's just, maybe they're just starting to, to tighten up and get closer to spawning and that might just happen. So I don't know. We're gonna find out. Period two starts here in about a minute. I thought about going back up the river and fishing some sticks that I hadn't even fished and some brush, but I just think that area, I think that's gonna be so overfished everybody sort of knew that that was gonna be a pattern and i think that was the biggest reason why i didn't uh didn't catch them better you know and i think that's just the that pressure can really get to these fish so you almost need to go on these no nothing banks and no nothing pockets cast around you know
I'm telling you, it's been growing on me. How are you? I hear you. We're trying. We're trying to catch some of them bass you have in here. Uh -huh. so we've been trying to catch some of them bass. Yeah. Well, it makes me feel good about where I fish because I've seen a bunch of y'all stacked up in a couple of my spots. I'm like, all right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thirty seconds. That's, That's awesome. awesome. What's that? What? Yes. Yeah. Uh, a big old alligator? Yeah. Yeah. Big Fifteen yeah, I seconds. I don't want to catch him. <laughs> Forget that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lines up. No way. Yes. What? So how many alligators you seen in here? How many? Have you seen a lot of alligators in here? No, nope, just one. Lives over that away. That's crazy. I'm gonna try to stay away from that one. All right. Thanks for the heads up. Tell them good luck. Catch a ten pounder. Get under that top twenty, man. That's right. Thank y'all. I get you to sign this. Absolutely. Oh really? Thank you. I get. I gotta send in confirmation. Oh, just hey, it was nice meeting y'all. Guys, we end up 31st. Did not get it done this week. We'll probably have a recap before too long. This, this is the thing. You always are going to have those events you just never get on the right deal. This week, for me, the biggest thing was getting on a buzzbait bite and, and knowing that that was my strength. And normally, I'm nine times out of ten. If I can get a need a buzz bait, I'm gonna get paid. Just simple as that. But this time, this one time, you know, your strengths can actually hurt you because that's what you default to ultimately every single time you're struggling. Tough time, never found that key area. It'll be interesting to see how a lot of these guys caught them. You know, I have no idea. You know, we can't talk to each other, any, you know, each other. So I'm at that opportunity to watch MLF now, tomorrow on the ride home. Yeah, it stinks. Obviously, you wanna make the, the cut. But it's not the end of the world, you know. Get a, have an opportunity to go home, spend time with my wife, my little girl, and then um, hopefully, ultimately, get ready for the next one. You know, we have classics, the next event. That's the last Bassmaster Classic, in my mind. So it's it's gonna be a whirlwind, but we got to get in. We'll check back with you right around the post game show. See you guys. Hey, Bob. Well. Just got here to the post game show. Conroe done beat your boy up. Absolutely, it was a um, it was a grind both days. Had my opportunities to probably you know have a solid event, but overall I think there was there was some stuff that I missed because I was so dialed into one thing that I overlooked some of the other stuff that was going on. You know, we only can cover, we only had a day and a half of practice, so you're not gonna be able to cover the whole lake, and I, and I definitely didn't get to see the whole thing. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how a lot of these guys ended up catching them. But overall, I mean, you know, you're not gonna catch them all the time. And feel good about the tournament. You know, didn't execute on a couple fish, but overall, you know, if I had to do it over again, it would just be to keep an open mind even more so. And practice, utilize more techniques, um, whether that's flipping, um, you know, whatever that may be, to where you're more well-rounded, which normally when you're more well-rounded, you're better off in those events. So, we're going to go through the post game show, and uh, we're going to tell these guys how we caught a few bass. Hey, we fought, and we clawed, and we scratched, and we did everything we could do. Caught us eight fish, never had a big bite the entire week, not even practice or anything. Lost two today. They wouldn't have got me in the cut, but they would have. They would have helped me on points. And uh, it's just been a tough week, man. But that's part of the game. I'm not worried about it at all. Yeah. Moving on to the next one. Double crossbone over there. Doosh. Two fish. I'm like, ooh wee, ooh, ooh ooh wee. I had one more. I caught. I caught that one magical bass that jumped over the tree to get my frog. He came out of the water. That's crazy. Here's the water. My frog's right here. He goes, and lands down, 
un- like unbelievable. unbelievable like I could, I, I was like, I, can't you him. I was in shock. He's unreal. <laughs> unbelievable. He was like, you know what, bird, I'm getting you. <laughs> it's like only like a pound and a half, but that sucker like got it. Right. In this format, you need everything. One of them jokers. Okay, in a few weeks we'll be in Raleigh, North Carolina. How do you feel about that event? Have you fished there before? I, I never have. I don't think a lot of it has. What is so cool about that event? My wife is she's just, she's awesome. She's phenomenal. And I, I just I can't ask for a better wife. And and my little girl, she's uh, she's getting bigger. I tell you what, she's. Well, so you know, it's how to win the big ones. The youngest angler to win the Forest Wood Cup, and also a major league fishing cup winner. Let's bring him in, Jacob Wheeler, thirty second place, seventeen pounds, four ounces. I'm waiting for it. I'll come aboard. I'll come aboard. Good to see you. Came out of the water. Ate the frog, went down with it, and I caught that fish. It was the coolest fish catch. It was after an accident buzz bait, my signature series buzz bait. And, and it's the thing, if you get bites on a top water, most of the time they're pretty big. Um, and, and, and you know, if you get 10 bites, they're gonna be three or four really nice ones. Well, welcome, so, a former Bassmaster Classic champion, Randy Hall! 10 to 12 rod kind of day, because you have a lot out on the deck, my friend. Come on. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. What's up? Ah, say hi to YouTube. What's up, YouTube? Got it. Thank you very much. Yeah, I love that. I'll take it. 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 Post game show over, had a tough one. But that's, it's understandable. Hey look, I'll tell you what, the big thing was, being able to the opportunity to interact with the fans is always a great thing. And, you know, the, I gotta give my hats off to the guys that figured them out this week on Conroe. It was definitely not easy. But, there's always a silver lining. I have an opportunity to go home, spend time with Alicia, spend time with Olivia, a couple extra days before heading. Oh, I can't even tell you guys that one. So. I'll tell you what's happening here in Chicago. See ya.